Hey everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and today I have kind of a special episode for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, your own custom park scenario in Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. Now, I recorded about 40 minutes of footage um, today, and I've edited it down into about 15 minutes, um, and I think it's going to go pretty well. But um, this is, it's kind of just a trial thing. Now, I would really appreciate you guys um, giving me a like on this video because it was a lot of work to do this. Um, but anyway, in the, in the top right here, you see um, we've got the, classic, the Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Toolkit. And what you're going to do is on the second one there, we have the Park Scenario Editor. And that's where we're gonna go today. I did. You did have to. I did have to purchase this um, extra little bit of content. But um, yeah, let's dive into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is the object selection, and you're gonna do your rides. Very important part of the process because you want to make sure you have all the rides um, that you're gonna want to have available as you go throughout. Um, making your play actually playing the park so I'm gonna go through here um, a lot of this video is gonna be sped up today because there's a lot of work and a lot of things um, that are just kind of time-consuming and tedious and so I'm going through here I'm picking every single ride that I possibly could maybe even consider wanting um, in my park you've got 128 options maximum I don't know how many rides there actually are in the game, but it's probably something like 145, so you, you can choose almost everything. There are a few things that you want to absolutely 100% make sure that you have in your park, and the number one thing is, first of all, the restrooms. You need to have food, and you have to have an information kiosk, and that is um, those are the absolute must. Another thing I would highly recommend making sure you pick is a cash machine, or else your guests, especially if um, you're going to be doing um, a park that's pay per ride as opposed to pay to get into the park, you're going to need that cash machine. So make sure that those things are clicked. Other than that, it's completely up to you. Whatever you like to build, that is what um, you're going to want to put into your park. The next part of this is um, your scenery. M make sure you pick some scenery because scenery adds a lot of excitement value to your rides in the park. So make sure that you do that. Um, I usually go through and pick kind of the general things for the scenery and you do have a more advanced option. I also go with the park gates as my um, ride entry and then the water you can pick these different colors for your water. I always go with natural, but you can kind of play around with those. If you want a kind of a silly looking water um, in your park, you can pick those. Now I have clicked the advanced and you can see there's a whole bunch of options that you can go through as far as scenery goes. And um, I only look at a couple of them. I don't actually pick anything. Again, I went um, with the just the basic and it picks a bunch of things for you. But if you want a more, um, even more customize, com customizability, you can go through here and look at every single little thing that you want to put into the park, and you can do it. And uh, f again, for the sake of time, I didn't really do that. Um, just make sure you have some benches, some litter bins, so that you can actually, you know, have a possible running park. <laughs> okay. The next part of um, creating this is the landscape editor and this is what it is given you a 150 by 150 map size you can increase that as much as you want I'm not sure what the maximum is I just stick with 150 by 150 that is plenty of room for a, a large park okay because what I do is I go to the land owned here and um, now it, this is a really important part again important step is actually creating um, what part of the park you own and I almost fill up the entire map because I just want to have the option of building wherever I want I don't fill it up completely I leave the edges a little bit now how you're gonna do this is I usually double click because 
um, it's a lot faster but you can also manually press that update ownership and this part sucks probably the most <laughs> okay the payoff of making your own scenario is um, the end goal now I've sped this up times 20 but this literally took me probably 15 minutes just double clicking and filling in this part um, of the park and it takes quite a bit of time so uh, important part again you're gonna want to make sure make sure every single square is filled up if it's not um, you might have like one little square that's not filled and if that happens you will run into not being able to like build a roller coaster in a certain part and it's just kind of annoying okay next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and build a lake into the park and what you're gonna do is go into your adjust land and um, you can you have the option of expanding or um, decreasing the amount of space that you can do and you're going to click an area of land and you're gonna decrease it all the way so that um, this symbol pops up right here that you see on the screen now and what that allows you to do is when you lower or raise the land it does um, these bigger chunks and you can see it makes this big depreciation in the land and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, do this big area around it and it makes it look a lot more natural and then you don't have to um, go in and manually do all of this or else I would never do it because that would suck but this is a really nice feature that's in the game I'm gonna go ahead and just again depreciate a big portion of land here and then I'll clean it up a little bit and then what I'll do is I'll fill it with water and then I'll give you a nice lake for some water rides and so again I just clean this up a little bit make sure nothing's poking up too high that's gonna come out of the water and now I'm gonna go ahead and raise the water and you have the manual raise and lower option another thing you can do is just click in the middle and raise it with your finger and that is probably what's fastest so I'm gonna go ahead and again speed up the video as I just fill up the lake here with water and there you go now we have a nice lake in the middle of the park looking good now I'm gonna go ahead and create some mountains I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing but instead of depreciating the land I'm going to raise it and that's gonna allow me to create some massive hills here and create some nice looking mountains And um, I kind of just gradually make the hill smaller and smaller, and then it makes a nice mountain. The next thing we're going to do here is put some trees in. Now you have all the options of the trees in the game. You can see um, I end up going with this. I go with a strange choice, the monkey puzzle tree. And then you see that little icon there that I had to click at the bottom. And that's going to allow you to put in a bunch of trees at once. Again, double click and it will fill in all these trees. You can see you can put a bunch of trees in at once. This is another thing that took me a ton of time to do. So I'm speeding it up again by 20 times. Um, once I filled in all the monkey puzzle trees, I fill in the mountain with some spruce trees and some snow trees. And then I fill in the rest of the park with red fir trees. Trees are a huge part of the game. Again, I like to put a ton of trees because they increase the excitement rating on your rides by a massive amount. Just having that scenery there. It's a huge part and um, it will, you know, it costs money. But I promise you, um, the way that we build this park, money will be no problem. And um, the point of my parks is to have fun, not to make it as challenging as possible when I do these. You know, they already have the challenging rides or uh, park scenarios um, already in there. So why do I have to make a park that's challenging? Now, that's totally up to you. This is just my personal preference. Again, if you want to make a park as challenging as possible, leave no trees in there, and then your 
your rides are going to be more difficult to make the excitement ratings higher and you'll have to customize them um, yourself as you play. So now I'm putting in the ride entrance um, and um, to make the ride entrance a tarmac footpath you're going to have to go out and manually click tarmac and it will then change the park entrance to a tarmac footpath as opposed to whatever is the top footpath option which is usually ash. I add in some um, pathways into the park itself. It's just a little... Uh, it makes things easier when you actually start playing. I, you can see I left a square in there and I'm gonna put my information kiosk in there when I actually play this park. Next thing we're gonna do in the landscape editor is go ahead and snow cap these mountains. Go into your adjust land and you can see I have um, in the top left there changed it to snow instead of grass and now you can go in and actually change the what the landscape is. So I do a snow cap mountain. I think it looks kind of nice. And there we go. A nice snow cap mountain um, and a tree filled park. Next step is the invention list setup. Again, this is another really important part. Um, sometimes when you come into this, there are some things like the uh, restrooms that aren't available um, at the beginning of the, the game. You can see it says items pre-invented at the start of the game and items invented during the game. You don't want to have to invent restrooms in the middle of the game because your park is gonna the uh, park rating is gonna go way down because your guests don't have anywhere to use the restroom another thing you want pre-invented is the cash machine and the other thing I always make sure is pre-invented is the information kiosk and those are all important so that your guests don't leave um, the park ratings don't go down and to make sure that the guests have maps next thing is the financial options um, I I always make sure my initial cash is all the way as high as it can go and I make my initial loan zero. Maximum loan is 100000 I don't usually play um, putting up my loan. And then also cash per guest, I go all the way up. These are all things that make the game convenient. Kind of look through the options here. These are all things that will adjust the difficulty of your park. And if you click any of those, it's going to make your park more difficult. I change right here free park entry and pay per ride as opposed to pay for park entry and free rides. That's going to get me a lot more money um, in the long run. Now I pick my objective. And what I'm going to end up going with here is repay loan and achieve a given park value. And... Um, what that does is it gives me an unlimited amount of time to reach this and I do make the park value very high and that's going to make it more um, difficult but you can see there's all these different options for objectives choose whatever you think sounds fun okay all of them are pretty fun some of them are more difficult than others so I've chosen my park value I'm going to get, increase this to 600,000 which prom I promise you is a quite difficult park value to get. So that's the only part of this park that I've made difficult is the objective. I'm going to go ahead and um, fill in all of these texts in here. Fill these with whatever you want. It's naming the park, naming this uh, scenario. The park name is what the park is actually named when you create the park itself. The scenario is what's going to pop up in the loading screen at the beginning. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this park. And let's go ahead and look at our work here. So how you're going to find this? I've saved this in other parks. So you're going to have to go to more park scenarios at the bottom of the screen there. Then you go to other parks and you can see I've named this scenario the Classic Tycoon. And then um, Go ahead and click Start New Park, and you will be into the park, ready to play it. I'll probably do a Let's Play through this um, eventually. But yeah, there you guys have it. Um, I talked through this really quickly. Make sure if you have any questions at all, put them into the comments. And um, yeah, thank you so much if you've made it this 
this far through the video. Again, this video was a ton of work for me to put together. By far the most work I've ever put into um, a YouTube video. This took me a lot of time. And I would really, really appreciate you throwing me um, a like. Um, please subscribe to the channel and comment. Again, if you have any questions or any words of encouragement, anything that you think I could improve on this video, um, that would be much appreciated. This has been the Classic Tycoon. I'll see you guys in the next video.